Hi, my name is Greg Orr. A lot of people call me Dr. Go. This tablet is the Dell Latitude 7275, and we're going to look at the top seven items you want to know before you open the case. Top item number one, properly opening the case. There's a right way and a wrong way to open the case. It has a magnetic attachment, so the tablet can be removed easily. But if you open it incorrectly, the tablet could fall out. Here's how to remember. The case has a side that's blank and a side with a camera, the Dell logo, and what they call a kickstand. The correct way to open it is to pull the blank side away from the tablet. OK, you can see the keyboard and that it opened correctly. Now, if we open it from the camera and kickstand side, you can see that the tablet falls out. Imagine if that happened on a concrete sidewalk. So remember, always open it by pulling the blank side away from the tablet. Top item number two, somebody is listening to you. During last year's computer use survey, one of the questions asked, if you could change one thing about your current computer, what would it be? More than half of our venue users requested a larger screen or larger keyboard. The display on this new tablet adds nearly two inches diagonal, and the keyboard spacing is full size. No more typing like this. By the way, the keyboard is also backlit, so you can see the keys even if you're typing in a low light setting. You can press F10 to toggle between low, high, and off. Top item number three, Gizmology. Though the 7275 tablet is very small, it comes with a lot of gadgets that you're going to find helpful for doing your job. Let's first look at the computer itself. It has no regular USB ports, no LAN port, and no video port. Are we in trouble or what? The design is actually pretty smart, and you'll see why in a minute. There are two of these small USB-C ports and just about nothing else. USB-C, or Thunderbolt, ports allow you to connect to several things at once, like power in for charging the battery, several USBs, several types of videos, and LAN. Here's what you can connect through these ports. You get a short USB-C to USB-A cable. I use it to connect my mouse. You could also connect a USB hub to it and power a mouse, keyboard, and DVD burner. Notice the USB-C doesn't care which way you connect it. This is the Dell Power Companion. It's your external battery. It can fully charge the 7275 tablet in about two hours. Here's a bonus. Plug your iPhone into the USB port and you can charge your iPhone from the Power Companion at the same time. You'll get a Dell USB-C adapter hub. It's very light but very handy. When you plug this into your computer, on one side, it enables you to connect to video with VGA or HDMI or both. On the other side, you have your LAN connection and a regular USB port. This is your mobile dock to connect to just about anything you'll need while on the field. The Dell docking station is designed to stay in a home office or agency office, along with its power supply and wall plug. It's kind of the granddaddy of all hubs. In addition to power supply, there are three video ports, a LAN port, and two audio ports, and five USB ports. In the learning station, we have a training course for the 7275 that contains all of the gadget user guides. So it will take some time to become an expert in gizmology, but the effort that you put into it will pay off in your ability to use this machine to its potential. Top item number four, configurations. The Latitude 7275 is a small computer, but there are lots of different ways you can use it. You can fold the keyboard around flat and use it as a tablet. You can also pull the 7275 off the keyboard and use it as a tablet as well. Though this is the lightest mode, it also leaves the computer exposed. So to avoid damaging the screen during storage, uh, return the computer to the keyboard folio and close the cover. You can open the kickstand 
and use it like a laptop. This works great on a table, but if you're actually using it on your lap, you'll want to put something under it for stability. You can put it in tent mode by folding the keyboard all the way around with the kickstand open. Without the keyboard for entry, you'll want to use the virtual keyboard or use the stylus. Here we have it set up in desktop mode. With the dock in the center, you can see we have power coming in. The Latitude 7275 is set up as a tent, and we have an extended monitor and mouse and a keyboard. Top item number five, power management. If you click on the battery icon, you can view the remaining percentage of your charge and the remaining time before you need to recharge. If you click Battery Saver or manually lower the brightness of your screen, you will increase the expected time before you need to recharge. If you plug in the Power Companion external battery, instead of telling you how long it will take until you run out of battery, it will tell you how long it will take until you're charged at 100%. Top item number six, the built-in camera. The Latitude 7275 can take pictures for your documentation with either of the two built-in cameras. On the screen side, it has a user-facing camera, and on the back side, it has a world-facing camera. It comes with an app called MyCam, which you can simply open and view your subject on the screen, press the camera icon, and it takes a picture. If you want to view the picture or save it to impact or class, Go to your Pictures folder and open the Webcam folder to view or document your images. The Latitude 7275 User Manual has a complete set of instructions for how to use MyCam. Top item number seven, text entry options. The Latitude 7275 comes with a physical keyboard, which is a great option for typing while mobile. If you're in tent mode or tablet mode, you can use one of two virtual keyboards. You can see the full QWERTY virtual keyboard, and now I'm going to switch it to the split keyboard. If you're used to texting with your thumbs, you may catch on to this pretty fast. The stylus runs on a 4A battery, but powers down automatically after you stop using it. You can change the touch keyboard to handwriting and enter text with the stylus. I have OneNote open, and you can see some handwritten text. You simply right-click and circle the text, right-click on the text, and select Ink to Text, and it turns my chicken scratch into electronic text. Remember to download and reference the user guide. This is Dr. Go with the Latitude 7275 tablet to all you road warriors out there. Happy trails.